So we're gonna take the 1954 Plymouth Savoy and we're gonna return it to the grounds of the museum. It's all about telling the story because every car Absolutely. has got that story. Every car. Even this one. I mean, you look at it, it's been weathered well, sitting in the middle of a field somewhere. And you know, there's a guy out there somewhere that needs that piece of stainless <laughs> around there because it, it's not dented. It's amazing what's still there. And for us, it doesn't have to be museum quality. No. You know, we're gonna turn it into a display piece. It's not gonna be a restored car, but we're gonna restore it to the point where it can relive its story for generations to come. I told you, I could tell you that story, no, but to experience it, 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 it's a visual. It's a visual. Well, and that's the thing that really excites me about what we're doing at Savoy. You know, we are truly going to celebrate the diversity of the automobile industry. Our designer designed our sister museums, Booth Western Art Museum, Telus Science Museum. The best way he has described what the aesthetic will be is European modern. I'm really looking forward to this. All right, Skip, so welcome to Savoy Automobile Museum. Wow. Well, this really makes a statement. What an entrance. Of course, right now being under construction, you don't get a lot of what the final product will be, but we want people to be able to appreciate the art of the car. They're gonna be displayed where you can walk around and enjoy the whole car. So it, it leaves- That's about 10,000 square feet. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's probably close to it. What do you think so far? I mean, you've been in this industry for a long time. Very you... seldom am I speechless. <laughs> the place just keeps going and going and going. Just keeps revealing itself. It does, around every turn. This is the theater that we're going to use wow. on a... <laughs> Deceiving, right? And there's a turntable down there. So we can actually drive cars in, put it on the turntable, we'll rotate around. Absolutely amazing. It's not too often that I look small, but a place like this <laughs> makes me look small. Look at this. Being able to actually look up and to take it in, that wow factor. I'm blown away just walking through here right now. And when it's filled with cars. Can you imagine cars just lined up in here? Yeah, I can picture it. I can really picture it. Speaking of cars, yeah. where are they? So we've got them in a couple different places, but how about a little sneak peek for Cafe and Octane? Okay? Let's go see cars. Let's do it. So you were asking where the cars were. And now I see where they are. And now you see. Oh, yeah. Exactly. What a nice, nice collection. You've got some great stuff here. And this is only part of it. And you know, we've got a couple of places where we've got cars in storage right now where we're curating, collecting, and, mm -hmm. and getting that collection together. I've got to take a peek at this. When you see a Biscayne on the outside, it looks like your mother's grocery getter. And you look under the hood, and there it is. Big block. There's nothing extra on this thing. You don't see air conditioner or power steering or any of the other stuff hanging on there because this car was built to go street racing. That's right. <laughs> There's some really interesting cars here. You got a GT500 sitting up there, a Studebaker Golden Hawk. Supercharged. Supercharged. Oh, yeah. Oh. Custom hot rod, 50 Ford. 